G'day guys and welcome down the Werribee River this morning. Lately I've been doing a lot of cicada fishing, but this morning I'm really going to teach you guys how I like to use these lures. That was a hit. Yep. Alright guys, so in order to do this type of fishing, I like to use a fairly light outfit. So under here I'm just using a 1 to 3 kilo ultralight, it's an NS black hole, um, thousand size reel. Uh, six to eight pound braid. I think I've got eight pound on this one. I use 10 pound fluorocarbon leader just simply because the fish in here are starting to get a little bit bigger, whereas previously I was using six. And the lure I'm using today is just a little black and white TMCO soft shell cicada. I'm, I'm actually running low on TMCOs and I haven't, well, I have used this one, but I haven't caught anything on it yet. So I want to try and give it a good go this morning, see if we can get something on it. So what we do is we look for little nooks and crannies like that in around the snags and try and get our cicada into it. So we'll just throw a cast like this and then we'll just let it sit. Now, right now what's happening with the lure is it's just sitting there and the rings of, you know, like the water, the rings in the water where the lure has landed are all dissipating out into the snags that are around it. So we're trying to basically send out the dinner bell by doing that and hopefully the fish see it and the moment I start twitching this they're going to be straight onto it. Just a short little wine like that. Just to get it swimming a little bit and just making a little bit of disturbance but we don't want to get it out of there too quickly. We want to just sort of like leave it in there as much as we can. Now once I get to the middle of the river like this, I'll just start to slowly roll it across the surface continuously, a little bit faster, but not super fast. Then once I get close to my side, I'll just slow it down a little bit and just stop start it again. I don't know what it is with this Tiemco, but it's just got no good juju about it at all. It's not getting hit, never been hit. Some lures just attract fish and some don't. This one just doesn't seem to. Now a lot of people will ask me what kind of weather conditions I like to do this type of fishing and I always say everything high except for the wind. So we want reasonably high temperatures, high humidity, high barometer, low breeze. Those are what I would say are the most ideal uh, sort of conditions for the topwater style fishing. And that's probably going for like all styles of topwater, so cod, um, you know, yellow belly, probably up north for barren stuff as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same. And usually when you find it's, uh, when it's warm like that, you'll also find there's a hell of a lot of bug activity around the trees and you'll hear them buzzing if you've watched any of my previous videos when we uh, started doing this this summer, you might have noticed that the bugs were just really loud buzzing in the trees. Almost like the sound was annoying in the background audio, but at the end of the day, you gotta fish the conditions when the fish are actually gonna be biting, and that's it. Yes! Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, I think it's a bass. Oh, oh it's just saying that this lure's got no good juju about it too. Whoa. Whoa, good hit. Whoa. Hey, come on, come here. <laughs> Let's get a measurement. There we go, it's bang on 30 that. Yep, 30 centimetres, beautiful fish. There we go, what a beautiful little specimen. Beautiful fish this morning. Just over 30, he's probably just over 30, 30 and a half, maybe 31, but that is a beautiful little bass, so let's, uh, let's get him back.
Oh, off you go, buddy. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, as far as the kind of retrieves that you can do for this style of fishing, look, to be honest, I find if the fish are on, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can do a slow roll retrieve, you can do a stop start, you can pretty much dead stick it. Frank, or old balls as we all know him, actually lost a rod and reel from doing the old dead stick method. He'd cast the uh, cicada out and just left it on the surface and uh, dropped his rod on the bank just while he was setting up his other rod. And while it was sitting there, a big fish has obviously come along and buffed it and ripped the rod straight into the river. So, oh, oh yes, there's another fish. Oh. oh, right on that edge there. Oh, I think that's another bass. Oh. oh, he must be the same one. He's about the same size. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the exact same size. It's 31. It's a nice fish, that 31 centimetre bass. There we go, guys, another one there. He's a little bit dirty from fighting me on the bank as well, but yeah, 31 centimeters. Beautiful fish, that. Let's get him back. Come on, buddy. You all right? Come on, there you go, hey. <laughs> Jeez, I thought he wasn't doing too well there for a second. But yeah, as you can see, it's not really a... Uh, you don't have to be very specific about how you're retrieving a lure. As long as the lure is swimming properly and it's making a bit of a disturbance on the surface, the fish are generally going to hit it if they're on the bite. The thing about the, the, this type of fishing I find is it's not so much about how you retrieve or what lure you use. It's, it's a lot more about the conditions that you're fishing. And today, it's not too bad. There's high humidity. It's fairly, uh, it's been a fairly balmy morning as well. It hasn't been too cold. Uh, not as much bug activity as I'd usually like to see, but it definitely has been a fairly good morning for it. The only thing that's kind of trying us right now is the, uh, is the water clarity, as it's quite dirty. But that's why we're using cicadas, because they tend to put up a bit more of a disturbance on the surface. There you go guys, on a bad little session, a couple of nice bass and a few tips there. Um, it wasn't exactly the most constructed and well thought out video as far as tips and techniques go, but hopefully there's a few things there for you guys to have picked up to help you catch a few of these fish on these top water cicadas. So if you did like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.